Hey everybody, Keith Hilson at the Trombone Shop back with another daily practice tip for you. For many of us, very often, it's very easy to when we come to practice or whether we come to you know to warm up to get ready for band to just put our instrument together, you know, grab our mouthpiece, put everything together, and just start playing. And sometimes it's really easy for us to forget the importance of our air and reinforcing how we want to use our air, and we forget how important our embouchure, our lips, and that buzz that they create is to what we do. Really, everything that we do starts with the mouthpiece. It could technically, we could say, it could start with the air, the, the vibration of our lips, but really that's not the way our aperture works. It works in relationship with the mouthpiece. Everything we do as brass players starts with this the lips vibrating in relationship to the mouthpiece and the sound that it creates and the, the pitch that it creates, all of our instruments, all they do is take this buzz and it amplifies it and it controls it and it, it modifies the sound, but it all starts here. And so today, what I wanna challenge you to do is do a little bit of mouthpiece buzzing in your practice. Now, what does mouthpiece buzzing mean? Well, it can be anything as simple as taking your mouthpiece, using our air, and just buzzing. And what we wanna think about right away is trying to create an even sound, the best sound we can. Even from the very beginning, we want to be creating music here. So we want to have a nice, stable, sustained sound. If your sound is doing Start to think about how we can control that. Maybe it means not moving our lips, our embouchure as much, changing the shape here. Maybe it means making sure that we're using a more steady, secure air supply but starting to get this buzz, this vibration steady and secure. And then once we get that happening, starting to put that to music using exercises. So when we're practicing, whether it's scales, so for example, a, a scale, like a B flat major scale. Can you buzz that on your mouthpiece? If you can, that means not only are you using your air properly, not only are your, your lips, your embouchure is that vibrating properly, but it means your ears are hearing the right thing as well. A good rule of thumb is if you can buzz it, there's at least a good chance that you can play it on your instrument. So today when you're practicing, put that mouthpiece, mouthpiece buzzing into your routine. Try just getting a steady buzz. If you can do that, try buzzing a scale. Try buzzing an exercise that you're working on, an etude, a, a song, whatever it might be. Start incorporating that into your daily routine, and I can guarantee that you're going to see some benefits from it. So thank you very much, as always, for watching. Keep an eye out for more of these daily practice tips, and keep on making music.